Hi everyone, it is June 20, 2019. I'm going to go through some headlines to show you what has been happening, not even in the last 24 hours. Overnight, people walking through waist-high water in several states, rescues all over the place, roads being closed down, uh, interstates, uh, yeah, the corridor of storms along Interstate 95, um, power outages all over. So I put in storms, Google, and now Google gives you your, your watches and your warnings, your warnings. Uh, severe thunderstorm watch, South Carolina, following locations. I didn't even, well, you can't click on it, which is really interesting. Maybe what to expect. I'm not going to do it. Look, um, it's till 10 p.m. Now, I woke up today to a bright white sky that I could not even look at because it closed my eyes. And then that cloud that which was you know horizon to horizon coverage began to turn gray then we had light rain and this is what it looks like now or a few minutes ago it's uh, unbelievable what is taking place it took a while for it to come up but this is it So, uh, the gray clouds turned white again, and then they, they don't move. They're being zapped. They disappear. And I can't believe that we actually have a, a, a darker blue sky that I've seen. Oh, <laughs> had to include these guys. That I've seen several days this past month an actual blue sky not as dark as we used to see it but blue so this was yesterday now I am getting sent pictures and videos of sky that we all know is a creation of man that this is not natural but this was the sky yesterday. Uh, that is not a natural sky. The cloud formations are not the clouds we used to see. The clouds we used to see, well, they were uh, circular and they moved, certainly when we had breezes and winds. Clouds today just sit in place. Just sit in place. This is where all of this is going. Current lifestyles and consumption patterns of the affluent middle class uh, involving high meat intake, consumption of large amounts of frozen and convenient convenience foods, Ownership of motor vehicles, golf courses, small electric appliances, home and workplace air conditioning, and suburban housing are not sustainable. Maurice Strong, who thank God finally died. But Maurice Strong was, well, some consider him to be the father of Agenda 21, Agenda 2030. Um, they are destroying us. Who's they? The very rich elite psychopathic nutjobs. And they get their puppets working for them. The leaders of nations, governments. And then they have an awful lot of people who believe the horseshit that they hear from the IPCC, the intergovernmental, governmental government, and it's not an inter-scientific, it's an intergovernmental panel on climate change spewing their 
assessments periodically claiming that the world is going to end if we don't do something about climate change. Uh, it's, a, it's a policy panel. It's not a scientific panel. Oh, they have some scientists on it, but it's a policy panel. They draft policy for governments around the world to implement in accordance with Agenda 2030. United Nations Agenda 2030, yes, they are reshaping the world. So, before I go on, I want to read a few quotes of those scientists that never get attention. Never do they get called to be interviewed on mainstream media. It's all of the scientists that disagree with the IPCC, their assessments, the global warming, climate change, lie. Lie. And I'm doing this because they are bringing on extreme weather events every single day now. And many people are suffering from those extreme weather events. And they will continue until everybody submits and obeys, believes climate change. One of the reasons why they are bringing on so many extreme weather events is to manipulate people into, okay, I believe, I believe, I believe in the religion of global warming. There are far more scientists that dispute what the IPCC is saying. There is no consensus. It's an utter lie. Here, James Spann, American Meteorolo Meteorological Society, a certified meteorologist. Billions of dollars of grant money are flowing into the pockets of those on the man-made global warming bandwagon. No global warming, the money dries up. This is big money, make no mistake about it. Always follow the money trail and it tells a story. This from Mark Campbell, professor of chemistry at the U.S. Naval Academy. Consensus in science is an oxymoron. From Galileo to Einstein, one scientist with proof is more convincing than thousands of other scientists who believe something to be true. And I don't even grant there is a consensus among scientists. It's just that the press only promotes the global warming alarmists and ignores or minimizes those of us who are skeptical. And I have very often have gone through an awful lot of articles that I have captured on the gargantuan lie of climate change science. Climate change, this is the worst scientific scandal of our generation. Uh, it's the, it, a gross exaggeration. United Nations panel, IPCC, grossly exaggerates. United Nations panels, glacier warning is criticized as exaggerated. Open letter to IPCC on geoengineering, uh, that's from an awful lot of organizations and scientists around the world um, that were asking the United Nations to open the door, open the door and allow others who oppose geoengineering to sit in on discussions. No, it was a closed door discussion about geoengineering. And when you have a closed door discussion, that means there's no consensus. No consensus. No need to panic about global warming. There's no compelling scientific argument for drastic action to decarbonize the world's economy. Nobel Prize winning physicist resigns over global warming. Uh, Another climate alarmist admits real motive behind warming scare. And who was this climate alarmist? 
he was someone who sat on the IPCC. We have now been told for almost three decades that man has to change his ways or his fossil fuel emissions will scorch earth with catastrophic warming. The narrative is a ruse. This is a scientist who sat on the IO, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. This is what he said. If they were honest, the climate alarmists would admit that they are not working fever feverishly to hold down global temperatures. They would acknowledge that they are instead consumed with the goal of holding down capitalism and establishing a global welfare state. This is where we're headed. Maury Strong has claimed, this one guy claimed, oh, how you live, it ain't sustainable. So we've got to destroy how you live and, well, how you're going to be living. You'll be living with a universal basic income in stack and pack apartments in mega regions. One has to free oneself from the illusion that international climate policy is environmental policy. This has almost nothing to do with the environmental policy anymore with problems such as deforestation or the ozone hole. This man co-chaired the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change from 2008 to 2015. Former NOAA scientist confirms colleagues manipulated climate records. IPCC admits that climate models fail. Uh, the list is long. list is long. Scientists admit global warming is a hoax. Scientists admit IPCC used fake data to pressure policymakers. Climate change science implodes as IPCC climate models found to be totally wrong. Totally wrong. IPCC science isn't science. IPCC's latest report deliberately excludes and misrepresents important climate science. Fundamental flaws. Debase. IPCC fifth assessment. Fifth assessment. Band-aids can't fix the new IPCC report. Scientists have called to disband the IPCC. Scientists have been so outraged because they know that the IPCC, those lying scientists. Well, the ripple effect, what does it do to science? Nobody will trust science. Nobody will trust scientists anymore. It's, it's, it's really unbelievable. Failed prognostications of climate alarm. The IPCC's latest report deliberately excludes and misrepresents important climate science. Finally, it's safe for the whistleblowers of corrupted climate science to speak out. Sorry, not safe. How to spot a climate fraud. The trouble with mainstream media climate scientists is that they're third-rate scientists, and the reason they're third-rate is that they're dishonest. It goes on and on. And all one need do, all one need do, is sit at their computer and instead of, I don't know, searching uh, entertainment, just do a little bit of research on what is taking place because people, life itself, are dying. Not because of climate change, but because of man's use of technology, applying that technology for weather modification. The IPCC has been deceiving the public about carbon cycle from the start. IPCC researchers admit global warming fraud. Global warming study filled with junk science, political biases. I mean, it just goes on and on. And we can't get through to anybody to just take a look. Take a look. Look. 
52, 52 scientists on the IPCC. That was the consensus. Scientists from around the world, 97% of scientists from around the world believe in global warming. You know, our fabulous President Obama, who continually said that, the consensus, 52 scientists made up the consensus. And yet you had 31,487 scientists at, at the same time sign a petition stating, uh, disputing the global warming hysteria coming out of the IPCC, coming out of mainstream media. 31,487 signed their name to a petition, Global Warming Petition Project, disputing that man is causing global warming. More than 1,000 international scientists, oh, these were American scientists, more than 1,000 international scientists dissent over man-made global warming claims. Now, why, why do I get so upset? Because the consequences of believing lies, well, it creates this. Creates this. Now, this is a subscriber of mine that I believe has been a subscriber for a long time. Well, Carol, I'm losing my home this year due to all the rain and snow they've manufactured and dumped on me the past couple of years. So yes, we are all going to be impacted sooner or later. I paid off my home that I worked two, three jobs to pay off. Now it's sinking into the ground on its foundation. And every time it rains now, rainwater is getting under the house and filling up the crawl space all the way to the house subfloor floor, uh, thanks to these new subdivisions and new high school you now they're 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 allowing these contractors to build and they're allowing them to build in such a fashion that is causing an awful lot of flooding all over in many many states and and I've seen the news you know I've seen interviews with people asking the city for help and the city says nothing we can do they want you out and they're gonna get you out it's the reshaping of the world but the reshaping of the United States into mega regions and I have plenty of evidence that that is occurring on my playlists on my channel. When I first came onto YouTube eight years ago, I can't think of any subscriber that I had then that was suffering the consequences of the many agendas taking place. Eight years later, so many have been suffering the consequences of weather being used as weapon, that agenda only, a whole lot. Fires burning up people's homes, flooding out people, subscribers of mine, and people tell me that I've got to calm down. I'm not calming down. I refuse to calm down. That comes from people who are comfortable. It does not come from people who are losing their home after they've worked so hard to pay off that mortgage so that they could live, you know, free of worry. Well, now nobody gets to live free of worry. No one. Consensus in science is an oxymoron.
The press only promotes the global warming alarmists and ignore or minimize those of us who are skeptical. Carbon dioxide is not the boogeyman. The carbon dioxide content of the atmosphere is currently at 380 parts per million. If it were up to 560 parts per million, the temperature would only rise about 0 0.03 degrees. Chemical engineer Ian McQueen. Um, now, these quotes are from different time periods, so don't come back and say, oh, you lied. It's uh, 460 parts per million, whatever it is today. These quotes were from several um, periods of time. The global warming scaremongering has its justification in the fact that it is something that generates funds. Global warmers predict the global warming is coming and our emissions are to blame. They do that to keep us worried about our role in the whole thing. If we aren't worried and guilty, we might not pay their salaries. It's that simple. Gary Nullis, Nobel Prize winner for chemistry. And I'm sorry. Here, Edward, Eduardo Tony, Committee for Scientific Research, Argentina. I can't, my, my vision is going. Um, and these were old, old quotes. So I'm not going to be replacing the quote with bigger lettering. I am skeptical. I am a skeptic. Global warming has become a new religion. It's pseudoscience. Creating an ideology pegged on carbon dioxide is a dangerous nonsense. The present alarm on climate change is an instrument of social control, a pretext for major businesses and political battle Environmental scientist Delgado Dominguez. Are you looking at the sky in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, 2010? I had the privilege of being fired by Al Gore, Al Gore since I didn't go along with his alarmism. I have spent a long research career studying physis, uh, physics that is closely related to the greenhouse effect. Fears about man-made global warming are unwarranted and are not based on good science. Will Harper, Princeton University, former director of energy research at the Department of Energy. So what do we have? What do we have? Where the storms are coming from doesn't matter because, as you see, they're just erupting out of nowhere. Erupting out of nowhere. What are people con um, What are people suffering? New Jersey, Westville, New Jersey. Here we go. Walking through West at waist high. And people aren't questioning this. All right, so what do we have? Storms bring tornadoes, floods, and power outages across the United States. Yes, 200,000 200, people without power across the southern United States. Fallen trees ripped down power lines and crashed into buildings along the line from Texas to Alabama. Overnight and into Thursday morning, a few isolated tornadoes were reported damaging roofs in the northeast Texas city of Greenville. The weather destroyed buildings and twisted metal throughout the city's downtown area. Mississippi, a 19-year-old died when a tree fell on his home. 70,000 homes and businesses without power in Arkansas. 30,000 without power in Texas, Louisiana, Alabama. Alabama. Downburst winds, strong winds that descend from a thunderstorm spread out when they hit the ground. You know... Flash flooding prompts state of emergency in upstate New York and causes travel delays, water rescues in New Jersey, and cars stranded all over. Uh, Jesus. Amtrak 
Amtrak from Philadelphia through to New York had disruptions yesterday. The havoc all over the place is, well, if you don't know that the, <laughs> the great inconveniences that you are experiencing in your one community, it's being experienced at the exact same time all over the country. So when you get the big picture, you go, oh my God, what the hell is going on? What is going on here? Trains are, you know, falling off tracks or, well, sorry, um, due to whatever, the, you know, they claim, uh, your, your train now canceled, um, Amtrak suspends services on lines that are, <laughs> well, the commuters, you're talking millions upon millions, yeah, and then you have weather, and it's it's endless. It's endless. Strong storm system moving toward east coast with more flash flooding possible. Where is it coming from? Where is it coming from, Mr. Reporter? Where is it coming from? Ah, it will be created for you. It will be created. By technology. Yes, weather is being 100% controlled. Look at all of this. Look at all of these frequencies. Nevada. And what erupts? Oh, well, you got pockets of precipitation that just come out of nowhere. Americans, start thinking again, please. Start thinking. Because, <laughs> you know, You'll, you'll be next. You'll be next. Rocky River advises residents to prepare for possibility of heavy flooding. Some should have an evacuation plan ready. Yes, have that plan ready. Ohio, more flooding for you. Westville, New Jersey. Thank you, Chandler. A live look now from Westville Township, Gloucester County, New Jersey, where people and their pets are being evacuated from homes. This is Center Street. It's completely cut off by standing water. Residents we spoke with on the scene say this is the worst flooding they've seen in decades. First responders are working to get everyone out safely. We'll stay on top of this developing situation as more people are brought to safety. Okay, I, yeah, I will link below to everything and you can check it out here. I-295 closed. Closed. Uh, flooding causes early morning mess. Um, and this is in Philly, Philadelphia. Water rescues, evacuations in New Jersey towns from flooding that swamp cars turn streets into river. Still, it's off of Broadway and Willow Drive, and we, when we first got here minutes ago, our jaws dropped. Look at the scene here. They're actually helping a gentleman out, and you can see his dog there. They had been knocking on that door for a while, trying to wake him up, so he's waking up to this. Look at how high that water is. This is the Westville Fire Department. Again, how... All right, you can... I'm sorry <clears throat> for not playing out if you're getting annoyed by that, but I want to get to something, and I don't have much time. The ultimate weapon of mass destruction, owning the weather for military use. If you have not read this document, I hope that you do, or document uh, this article. As it relates to owning the weather by uh, 2025, that military document. And I hope that you try to get others in your life to read it, because this is actually what is taking place. Weather modification, according to the U.S. Air Force document 2025 final report, offers the war fighter a wide range of possible options to defeat or coerce an adversary. Capabilities, it says, extend to the triggering of floods, hurricanes, droughts, earthquakes. Weather modification will become a part of domestic and international security. Okay. Um, with more storms and rising seas, which U.S. cities could should be saved first. 
climate change. <clears throat> all they, all their mainstream media, it's climate change, it's climate change, it's climate change. Mid-South, storms topple trees, leave thousands without powers, without power. Tennessee, Memphis, 18,000 still without power. And at the height of the problem, 40,000 customers were in the dark. Numerous outages in northwest Mississippi. Wind gusts of 65 miles. Now we have hurricane winds on land occurring all the time. Look at this tree. No roots in this tree. The trees are dying. They're covered with fungus. The aluminum that they are spraying in the air, yes, <laughs> yes, that they're the lines that you see are not water vapor. It's not a contrail. It's filled with chemicals and heavy metals that come right on down into the soil. And aluminum in particular destroys the root system of trees. And boy, don't we see a lot of trees toppling all over? Why? Because the trees are diseased. The trees are sick. Their immune systems have been weakened and now they fall. And they fall even with slight wind. So, yes, they can create tremendous, tremendously damaging winds with scalar technology, with the frequencies that they use. But they don't need it because the trees are really incredibly, and it's happening all over. No roots, okay? Of course these trees are going over, but they claim it's a tornado. Baseball size hail hits Texas. <laughs> and so all of these storms are coming to an end, but not before severe weather and flash flooding threaten more communities along Interstate 95 corridor into Thursday night. Yes, more flash flooding, more severe weather along Interstate 95. Interesting, isn't it? Well, if you have done some research and understand Gwen Towers are littered all over our interstates, the Gwen Towers emit extremely low frequencies, and extremely low frequencies are used to modify, manipulate, intensify weather. Greenville, Texas, you can watch this. Another, they claim tornado, you know, but spot damage you know, on these tornadoes. All right, what did, what did I really want to get to here? So here it is, all right? Loads of information that, yeah, opportunities afforded by space weather modification. Uh, what can the military do? Create artificial weather. Produce some weather effects artificially regardless of pre-existing conditions. Virtual weather, nanotechnology, also offers possibilities for creating simulated weather, a cloud or several clouds, or microscopic computer particles, all communicating with each other and with a large control system could provide tremendous capability. Some clouds could be designed to have a wide range of properties. Yeah, like electrical charges in the clouds. So that what they're calling lightning, and it just looks like somebody is you know, flipping uh, uh, on an outlet. They're flipping the switch to make the light go on and off. That's not lightning. 1957, President's Advisory Committee on Weather Control recognized military potential weather modification more important weapon than the atom bomb. Spoofing options. Isn't it great? Ha! Ah, we can fool everyone. Everyone. It would also allow the military for the capability to mask or disguise our weather modification activities, and that's what we are living. Here, one major advantage of using simulated weather, deliberate actions appear to be the consequences of natural weather phenomena. 
weather modification can enhance our ability to dominate, dominate the aerospace environment. Okay, I have to just bring you, I mean, if you want to, I'll, I'll flip through all of what I excerpted from this uh, document. You can pause the video and read it. You know, weather modification increased latent heat releases in the atmosphere, provide additional water vapor for cloud cell development, provide additional surface and lower atmospheric heating to increase atmospheric instabilities. Atmosphere must already be conditionally unstable, must be supported of vertical cloud development. Have you seen vertical clouds? I have often. Increase the potential and intensity of lightning. Increasing the basic efficiency of the thunderstorm. Triggering lightning wherever they want. The essential ingredient, weather modification system, uh, energy, chemicals, meteorological processes uh, in the right way and in the right place and time, intervention, influence in clouds and precipitation, storm intensity, climate, space, and fog. Nanotechnology offers possibilities. Yes, nanotechnology. That's what we are seeing today. That's why radar looks very differently, very differently today. So, the black carbon dust, new technology to enhance rainfall and thunderstorm clouds and generate cirrus clouds. How it works, you can read about how it works, but bingo. How they manipulate you. How they manipulate you to get you to finally fall on your knees, believe anything that they say, and accept man's control of weather. So now they're coming out, oh, uh, Harvard, Harvard scientists, Scopex, we're going to do an experiment with geoengineering as if they haven't been doing it for decades. That's what makes life so unbelievably surreal, Kafka-esque, but soon they'll be coming out announcing we have ways to control the weather but what do they need to do first bring about a lot of destruction cause cause put pressure on individuals around the world the availability of food the cost of food unusable unusable water water is poisoned food scarce look at all the farms that they are destroying and have been destroying, but this year alone. Well, the massive life and property losses associated with natural weather? No, mm -hmm. they're spoofing you. Yes, spoofing you. They are creating weather, but you think it's Mother Nature or it's climate change. No, it's, it is man controlling weather bringing all of this to you and the weather disasters will become increasingly unacceptable unacceptable and this will put pressure on the people of the world to prompt governments and or other organizations that have capitalized on the technological advances of weather modification, they will call for increasing, uh, they will increasingly call, they will, <laughs> the urgency, they will finally want the benefits of weather being controlled. And that will stimulate laws and treaties, making the risks required to validate and refine it acceptable. Yes, by 2025, the world or parts of it are able to shape local weather patterns by influencing the factors that affect the climate, precipitation, storms, and their effects, fog, and near space. 
these highly accurate and reasonable, precise, civil applications of weather modification technology have obvious military implications. Well, this is what is taking place. And what you have to look forward to is more and more destruction until they finally, finally, finally come out and say, you know, yeah, and somebody will propped up on mainstream media. Yeah. Uh, I, I have a, uh, a patent and a way to, well, control hurricanes or uh, control the jet stream or, hey, frequencies. You know, I can, I can cure drought to, by bringing precipitation to those areas. And I have frequencies that will dry up clouds so no more flash flooding. And people will go, yay! Not friggin' understanding that all of this is in use. Here, now, which was what, 1997? They already had all of this in use. By 2025, they would add carbon black dust. And they would begin to escalate the use of all of what you have here, the Global Weather Network, computer modeling, communications chemicals, aerospace delivery vehicles, directed energy, smart clouds, artificial ionized and uh, artificial ionization mirror and carbon black dust and then weather force support element and virtual weather by 2025. Get it? All of this is in use already. Why do I get upset? Why do I get upset? Well, this is why I get upset. No one deserves this. No one deserves this. No one. You work hard all your life. You work two to three jobs to pay off that mortgage. And then you get destroyed. The older you get, the harder it is to bounce back. So many are sick with a whole lot of medical, serious medical issues. Um, I get upset because I've experienced it. Not this in, you know, not being brought down by weather, but I've been brought down and it feels horrible. And life becomes something other than what it was. And I'm seeing it happen every single day. If you can't personalize what's going on, like take it in, if you don't understand that everything is connected, then, you know, you're not going to do anything, anything to try to Certainly, you know, fight against what's taking place, but you probably won't even do anything to help anybody. And I, you know, okay, so we don't have the numbers to help, I mean, to um, fight against this because our fellow Americans, the majority are fighting us, thinking that we're just crazy. But we have numbers to help and because so few do so many go down and that is something that is possible but it's not happening and then uh, well all links are below.